Hi, this is Misha. And this is another episode looking at the WBP CG1 Polska rifle manufactured by Atlantic Firearms Manufacturing. Now we have a first video that's, you know, kind of a first look, first impressions. Today we put the first rounds through it. Apologies that there's not more shooting footage, but we were uh, we were rained out. <laughs> Seems like every time we need to go out and do a lot of shooting, we'll get the rain, but we did put some rounds through it. No surprise that it functioned fantastically. There was no uh, no failures at all. In a lot of ways, it's an AK, which is a good thing. You know, there's no no real issues with it that we could find as far as shootability. We tried out the WBP Clear Mag. I've received these about a month ago, and I've been trying them in all kinds of guns, from the Glial Ace to the classic AKs to things like this, and just seeing how they work. And so far, so good. We've had great luck out of them, and these things are 15 bucks or less, brand spanking new, and have kind of a modern look. And while we were shooting this, we thought we would uh, bring out Jay's Polish build, just to kind of have a comparison. This is one of the kits that came a few years back from What A Country. It's on a Morrissey receiver. It's a matching numbers. 1968 kit and this one has this FB Radom hammer forge barrel same Tapco trigger group so just as a control this one obviously shot very well too no surprises here but this is just um, as close as you're gonna get to a 60s 70s Polish AKM type because there are no actual Polish AKM imports so the best we can do is take a kit with a Polish barrel and build it up on a US receiver. So this one is, uh, we just thought we'd just bring it out with it. These are both in 7.6239. This gun as well is, has the same Polish FB Radom Hammer Forge chrome line barrel. Has the same bayonet lug, same 14 by 1 left hand. This one has the muzzle brake on it. This one has a phosphated finish. Jay's over here has its original blued finish. Over in Poland they would do bluing, then they would go to painting, and in the military they would do a phosphating as kind of a refurbishment finish. So there are three different styles really that it could be correct. The rest of the parts on this are brand new, made by WBP. He was uh, over in Poland as a commercial manufacturer. They're also a subcontractor for FB Radom. This receiver, as we said in the first episode, is a uh, Childers, which is built using a Polish imported 80% shell. They do the welding here. They use the larger weld spots, much like on the original military guns. You also see it on the Polish Archer. It does have the XY stamps. Now it does have a modern scope rail. This is an Atlantic Firearms brand scope rail. It's kind of a concession to modernity because, you know, just like with the Wasser, they're putting scope rails on those because people want a scope for the most part. They're even using Polish rivets in these, which is kind of a nice touch, and they're good rivets. We have a laminated furniture set, also made by WBP. Same Tapco trigger group that's in Jay's gun because it's, it's kind of the standard. The CG-1 features this checkered wood pistol grip. The standard WBP Classic at Atlantic will have a US-made Bakelite grip. Also, the standard Classic over there will have the Morrissey receiver like Jay's gun. And the CG-1 Polska will have the Childers receiver. Oh, I didn't mention it in this video, but this does have replica selector markings and notches. No worries, this does not fire full auto, promise. It's just for the appearance. It's perfectly ATF approved. It's just for the look of it all. 
This gun is not cheap, but this is for someone who wants as close to a Polish AKM as possible. Really is more of a shooter. These are, so far, very reliable. In part three, we'll take this out to the long range, shoot it at some distance, try some optics on it, try various things. But today we were just doing some test firing, and as I said, it um, did very well. This is a, a T&E gun, so it has had quite a few rounds through it overall. But this phosphate finish that Atlantic is using is holding up very well. It only has minor marks from use. So we're pretty impressed with the finish on this so far. The bore is still holding up very well. This hammer forge polished barrel is what you'd expect. The rifling is still holding very, very true. Chrome mining is very even, very good. Very, very high quality barrel. I would say the highest quality on the market today. Atlantic puts a lot into these as they build them. They, they test fire each and every one of these. Inside, they will bore sight them. Then they will take it to an outdoor range and they will run anywhere from 30 to 60 rounds through each gun to ensure reliability. Now they don't, you know, zero them in, of course, because different ammo types, and they're usually using some type of wolf ammo. But they will ensure that they're, you know, not way off center. Like they try to check for any problems, say, with the crown or the chamber that would throw off accuracy crazy. They'll leave the actual fine tuning of the sights, of course, to the end user. But they at least do run a not insignificant number of rounds through these to ensure that there's no hidden flaws. They really do seem to take pride in their work with this type of gun, running it through as many tests as is possible for a gun that is somewhat mass produced, you could say. They're definitely turning out more than one of these a week, so you know, they only have so much time. These do have a warranty though, so just in case something does slip through QC, no worries. It is covered, but I seriously doubt you'll have a problem if you do opt for one of these. The return rate is next to nil, and you know, so there it is. Now, full disclosure, any company can turn out a lemon, so absolutely no one's perfect, but I really like Atlantic's attitude about trying to be gun owners, gun enthusiasts first. They're becoming a big company They've been around about 20 years now, but they still act a lot like a small company in the sense that you have a lot of individual care. The employees that work there are all pretty enthusiastic about what they're doing and guns and what they're selling. So that's refreshing. They're not a huge conglomerate like Century Arms or someone else, so it's kind of nice. These are not cheap. They're priced about the same as an arsenal, but you do get a nice quality gun is from what we've seen so far. It's a smooth gun. It really has no hang up over the trigger. Even when it's uncocked, it still is quite smooth. Tapco G2 is what you'd expect. The rivets are well crushed. Barrel pins installed correctly. Sights are straight. The only real complaint we have, and it's a personal preference, and it's also something that would be extremely easy to change, this pistol grip. It looks good, but we both feel it's a little large and kind of, it's rounded in the front and the back, but it's, to me, kind of feels just like a broom handle with some flattened sides. So personally, if I were going to keep one of these, I'd probably put a different pistol grip on. Again, again I, I know it looks good, and it you know, goes with the furniture, and I'm sure a lot of people like it, but that's one thing we're not really crazy about is the grip, but that gets completely down to personal preference, of course. Well, like I said, unfortunately, it's raining today, so we couldn't do a whole lot more work outside. We'll come back in another episode and really talk about it at the range, put it up against some other guns, maybe some pre-band AKMs, like you know, or some 90s ones like a Mod-E, really to see how it does on paper with different types of ammo. But we just wanted to show you some initial shooting with this gun here. So the Atlantic WBP CG1, first impressions are quite very positive. Please tune in again next time, where we'll have more info. And if you like the video, please click like. 
If you haven't already subscribed and could, we'd appreciate that. And we have plenty of other videos on AK type guns, including on Polish military firearms history, both revol uh, handguns and, uh, and AKs. So check that out if you haven't. Well, this is Misha. And we'll catch you very soon.